So welcome to the 1990 series. My name is Amanda O'Shea, the Loving Life Coach from the Serendipity Experience. And I have with me today the gorgeous Shekel Haugmo from Oslo, Norway. Welcome. It's so lovely to have you here on the 1990 series. Thank you. And, and, and that was a really nice way of pronouncing my name, I think. <laughs> <laughs> how, would you, how would you pronounce it? Well, it was really good. So I, I would say Kjetil Haugmo. That, that's a Norwegian pronunciation anyway. So. <laughs> yeah. Kjetil Haugmo. Anyway, yeah. I'm sure you've had lots of fun with that, doing all your international work, hey? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, so, um, it's so funny how pronouncing names, um, you know, we, well, we put so much on it. I dated a Swedish guy once and his name was Gunnar. And mm. I could never say it properly, or he said I could never say it properly. But I used to practice. <laughs> Good yeah. night. But I, in the end, I was like, you know, forget it. I, I, I'm just going to go out with somebody called John. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's too stressful. <laughs> but um, it doesn't really matter what we call. I always say it doesn't matter what you call me as long as you call me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was only recently that we met um at uh the viva event over here in albia we just spent um yeah a lovely few days up there with all the fantastic speakers and um and all the visitors and people from all over it was really really nice and it has been really nice to connect with you and to see you you turned up there with your tribe huh you had you had a few of your tribe with you yeah yeah wow i I love to come to the Weaver conference. It was my, it was my first uh, conference in Weaver, and, and yeah, we came quite a few people. I think we were about fourteen people or something from Norway all together. So, so we had a amazing time. It was a it was a party, as as they say. It was yeah, it was really good fun. Yeah. So many so many lovely people to meet as well. So so yeah, was and it was, it was yeah, it was really nice to meet you as well. So yeah. So isn't it, isn't it great how we just, there's those connections, like suddenly, I, I love that anyway, you know, you can be somewhere and there's many, many people there, but there's just a few people that, that I don't know, a few people that catch your eye, a few people that you end up having a conversation with, a few mm -hmm. people that you, that you notice, a few people that you wish to stay in contact with afterwards. It's, it's, it's there's something about, um, I don't know whether you call it attraction or whether you call it, you know, but you, you gravitate, right? You gravitate to certain people sometimes. Hmm. And um, because it's, it's, you know, this is such a lovely community for me, being part of this, so what I would call the three principle community, there's, it's growing really quickly. Hmm. Like you say 14 of you from Norway. So it's like, you know, when, I don't know how long, I'd love to hear your story of, of how you got into this, but um, how quickly in the last, I've only been around this about six or seven, well, seven years. Mm. And it's in that time, like it's been immense, how quickly it's spreading and the, the, and the new people are joined, like as it were, are hearing about it and becoming part of that community. Mm. So would you mind sharing with us how you know how you've ended up being you know being at Viva talking about this stuff being a coach yourself yeah sure well I um yeah I, I yeah we've been to this understanding about uh, the same uh or six and a half years or something for me and and uh when I first met or, or got into this understanding I, I met this guy that um Eirik, uh, you know his um Eirik Olsen and and, uh, and he brought he was the guy that brought this understanding into Norway and and he invited me to to have a, a coffee and or, or maybe I think it was a beer actually but you know so it was <laughs> we, <laughs> we met up and and at the time I, I had worked as a coach for um I don't know, uh, already about eight years or something like that. 
and and I had written a book and uh, you know it, it went my book went really well it was a bestseller in Norway and and you know and this Eirik he was uh, he's nine years younger than me and and he didn't have the same amount of experience as I had and we were meeting up and and I kind of in my ego thought you know okay I got this book I got you know, I had about 70 speeches that year after my book came out. And, you know, I thought if anyone is going to teach anyone anything, you know, it's going to be me teaching him. <laughs> you know, so, so I was, yeah, I, I just had my ego with me. And, and, and I met, met him, you know, and this young guy. And, uh, and he was just so present. You know, he was just so open and so present. And, you know, when you meet somebody and they don't judge you, they don't compare themselves to you, they don't think they're better than you, they're just open to life and, and just in a beautiful feeling, right? And and he was talking, you know, I, I, I was into kind of normal personal development for many years. Just, you know, trying to find the best techniques and tools and strategies and things to do to, to be the best version of yourself. And, and we were kind of sharing about, you know, what, how do you be the best version of yourself? And I was like, yeah, you just do this and you do that and you just kind of add on all this stuff and then you become the best version. And, and, and he was like, well, I, I used to look at it like that but but now it's more like you're peeling off and and you're coming to the source of it and and i and i really remember my ego was kind of stirred about that too you know <laughs> this this young guy you know and and telling me how simple it was and, and that all of my time learning about these tools and techniques would kind of not useful anymore I, i'd spent so much time and effort and i don't know I, I just felt like so i was stirred in my ego but but at the same time i when i left him i i, I could not deny the feeling that he was in it was just in so much peace and and a loving feeling and and it was like you know what he's got i want that you know that's what i want i just knew that and uh, and so I started looking in in his direction, and I started, I don't know, walking more and more away from my own ego, I guess, and and becoming more who I am, and and um, yeah, realizing that love inside. So I I just went on a journey of yeah, for for all these years now through the principles has just been a beautiful journey into my own self of realizing who I am and, and, and that we are love inside. And, um, and it's been challenging too, you know? I, I, I remember I was in just outside London for, for a few years back, you know, I was like, how am I gonna build my business? Because my business was going okay before the principles. And then I, I went from being kind of an expert on personal development to being a super newbie and I, uh, I just had to learn this but but also I, I, I wanted or needed to, to have a living you know and I was I was in London or just outside London I, I asked this uh, teacher that weekend you know can you give me a strategy I, I was still not you know really you know understanding how this works and, and she was like no I can't give you a strategy of how you can build your business. And I was like, man, why am I here? You know, I just, that's why I'm here. I want to build my business. And, and this teacher was just sharing about life. I don't, you probably know Carol Burroughs. Um, yeah, I know Carol, although I've never done any training with her. But yeah, um, yeah I know many people that have. And yeah, just a lovely woman. And, and she was sharing about what she had seen about the principles and how it changed her life. And she was in tears and, and everybody was in tears in that moment. And, and, and then she looked at me 
and said, you know, love will make you or help you build your business. And I was like, it, it hit me in a way like, yeah, I, I okay, okay, I'll buy that. You know, <laughs> uh, that that's, sounds like a good idea, but it was still a little bit of, I hadn't really realized yet that uh, what, what that meant, you know? And, uh, and later that year, um, I, I was in another seminar. This was actually in London, bringing the principles to business. And, and I was just sitting there and, and, and listening to, uh, I was Mara, Aaron, and Barb. And, uh, and as they were speaking, I was kind of in my ego, my intellect, you know, just um, thinking who, who of these are most fun, you know, do I like that? Do I like this? Or, and I was kind of just critical about them or in my own mind. And, and as I listened to them, suddenly I just realized that, you know, all that feeling of critical stuff it, I, I make that up and I take it really seriously and, and suddenly I was just like I just saw that I don't have to listen to this this is just all made up and 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 I went from this feeling of being like this to, to more like opening up and and feeling that there was something behind all my and analytical oh that was a really <laughs> challenging word analytical thinking uh that i behind there that that was me you know I, I was filled with this beautiful feeling of love and oneness uh and just really being a part of you know life and me and everyone and 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 i just saw that that's inside of everyone, that's inside of me, that's before all those critical personal thoughts, there's something deeper. And, and I knew that I had found what I was looking for. And, and so, you know, I, I realized that that loving feeling or that love is just inside of, of everyone. And, and I, and I, started looking at life with those eyes much deeper much more and and i started connecting better with people i, I was more in service with people i uh, i understood i don't know just i listened better i listened through my not so much to my personal thinking i could connect with people in such a different way and and also listening that from that feeling, there was something guiding me through life, through, you know, okay, do this and, and do that. And, and, you know, so, so through realizing that that feeling of love is who you are and, and that's what's inside of you, there was just, life just became more beautiful and, and, and simple as well. And, and that's guided me so much in business and in life. In, in just every area of life and and it still does and I'm still peeling off these layers that Eric was talking about you know so so I'm just so grateful for seeing this and seeing how simple it is it is so hopeful to see this because I have been so stuck in my insecure thinking about who I am and judging myself before because uh, I thought I I was this insecure not so valuable person you know chasing outside success to to be more or be enough you know and and as you realize that you are love you you know that you are enough and and life just becomes more simple and playful and you know, like just sitting here talking to you now, I we didn't know what to talk about, you know, and and there are people listening in 
probably watching this afterwards and you know if that would happen to me just you know a few years back and i didn't have an exact plan what to talk about i would die inside of fear you know and now it's there is a trust there through realizing that you are love and and just knowing that you will get what you need in the moment um so it's like the personal mind is just quieting more down and and you can just be who you are in a different way that's so lovely and i could talk about love all day long you know and that's like my favorite subject but what i'm so grateful for this understanding thank you for sharing that <clears throat> is that it gave me a language to talk about love. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And, and I used to be, I think I always saw what, what we point to from a young age, but, but wasn't able to really articulate myself, was very confused with personal love. So I always sort of gave my power away. I really, really believed that that falling in love, which is like my favorite addiction, <laughs> or my favorite habit, you know, because it just feels so good, is, mm. is I really felt that came from, you know, somebody else or, or being, being in an intimate relationship with, some, with somebody else or even fantasizing mm. in my head about somebody else. But when, you know, I can fall in love with an apple now, you know, I can fall in love with, like, or with a cushion or with a, I don't know, a, a, just it's like fall in love with the moment and it, and it's different because it doesn't come with any any neediness which is really unattractive mm. you know there's something unattractive and very demanding when mm. we're in a personal relationship and it's like we need love back from that particular person mm. um because that's the way we think it works right and and that's the way you know we, we think that or we used to think, or, or I see, see still the mainstream believe that our feeling good comes from other people loving us. And when you get to realize that you are love mm. and they are all love and there's, there's no separation, it really takes a lot off, not just off of you, but I think a lot of other people mm. having to, I had a lovely conversation with Gabriella Maldonado Montano and, and, she you know we were talking about finding your soulmate or mm. the illusion of that and i was really caught up in all that stuff i really in all my travels and you know really thinking that oh like why why you know why have i not got that one person or that special person and feeling like if i didn't have that, that i couldn't be in this in that love zone and it's just not true mm. right? it's just not true in fact, when we're in that space ourselves and we don't need that from anybody else because we realize it doesn't really come from there, it, mm. it allows us to be much more relaxed, right? Mm. Yeah. I did a leadership training um, a few years ago and one of, like giving a title to it, one of the words or, or the words that, that came up for me were let love lead. Mm. like the three l's instead of the three p's yeah yeah it's beautiful <laughs> i love it yeah. let, let love lead mm. you know and i suppose that's what other people might call god or people call universal energy my, my word for it is love but mm. that is what we're pointing to let let life just let life be let life let life play its tune and then mm. you know instead of trying to control it mm. And there's a softness that comes with that. There's something very graceful. Mm. There's something very beautiful about being around as well, people that see that. I'm mm. sure that you get, I mean, the work that you do now, I'm sure that you get people just wanting to listen to you, right? Mm. I'd imagine, like when you do your groups or your, do you do online things or do you do um, weekends or do you meet in person or how do you work normally? Oh, I do actually mostly uh, what I do online, but, but I, have, I have a one-year program. I have a six-week program and I have Facebook Lives and 
you know, I, I just realized for, I just want to say also what, what you said was beautiful. I, I just, <laughs> I want to talk about bananas and lemons, you know, and, and my love for that. But <laughs> well, maybe I'll get back to that. I, I just, or my cats or, or just life in general, you know. I, but I, I, <laughs> I started doing Facebook lives. So I, I was like, yeah, it's about two years ago, I think. And, uh, and I felt like, okay, I just want to get out there and, 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 you know, get this understanding out to people. And, and I didn't have any, okay, I'm going to, uh, you know, um, uh, have this amount of people watching me and I'm going to get that from, I didn't, I was just like, I want to get out there more and Facebook Live is something I want to do. I want to be in that creative process and, uh, and I want to do it all the time. So I had the first year, I had just one Facebook Live every week. Um, and, and I started, it was three people on, on the first, uh, you know, just watching me live. And, uh, and I just kept going like for a year, just doing this no expectations just sharing this understanding and and it was so beautiful to see what happened through just one year i i had about i don't know i went from about three people live to to about 100 people following me live and and quite many thousand people watching it afterwards you know it's just yeah it's just happening and and um I don't know. That was just amazing that that happened through just, you know, showing up and, and keeping it continuously, but also uh, doing sharing from a place of love, you know? So yeah, realizing you are love, it, it really helps you build your business. And, and then I realized I want to have a program and I want this program and it's just been, Growing like um, my business is better than ever before, you know, it just, uh, and it's just gone, you know, step by step. I used to try to really push it, you know, and, and now it's just, it's happening. I'm still thinking about stuff, but I'm not, if I get too like in my ego or in my fear, you know, I'm, I'm just letting go of that and listening you know yeah and that's the thing i think when we come from that space the the words just appear or the silence just <laughs> just sits and it's the feeling and you get that feeling i have it now just listening to you you know it's that feeling that just feels really good and i really like that good feeling yeah me too <laughs> you know? So thank you so much. Thank you for being part of the 1990, one of my new friends. Yeah. I hope that we, uh, yeah, maybe we could do a let love lead. Maybe we could do something with that. Mm. That would be, that'd be great. Yeah, that would be great. So thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you, everybody, for listening. And lots of love to all of you, and especially to you, Shekal. <laughs> Yeah. Great. Thank you so much for inviting me, Amanda. Really, I, I love to have this conversation with you. Great. So lots of love to all. Cheerio. Bye-bye. Adios. Adios. Bye. Ciao.